Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and I am actually back with another video. I figured I would talk about my experience making content and meeting Sarah J for the first time. So if you guys don't know, Sarah J is a porn star that has been in the industry for a very long time. She is considered a MILF. She is very experienced and after shooting with her, I am like, wow. <laughs> I am glad I got that experience because she was one of my first girl girl people I ever shot content with and it was heaven. So with that being said, this is not a I'm gonna bash Sarah J type video. This is me just like explaining the whole experience. Um, I'm gonna post a couple photos and maybe some behind the scenes video, but if you guys are interested in any of those things, it's all on my OnlyFans because a lot of it um, in the adult industry, you're never wearing clothes when you're hanging out, so I can't really post it here. But if you're curious, it's OnlyFans.com slash FitSid. But with that being said, let's get into it. So first thing I want to bring up with the whole Sarah J thing, um, I was actually on Twitter and I was like, oh guys, I'm going to be at XBiz Miami, blah, 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 like on my Twitter. If you guys aren't following it, you definitely should. But she ended up tweeting saying at fit sydney are you going to xbiz or something like that and then i dm'd her and keep in mind sarah j is like so well known i was kind of fangirling i was like oh my god 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 ah! called my dad called my mom called my brother called my sister called my friends and i was like oh my gosh you guys guess what so i was already pretty hyped about the whole situation and i was like i really hope she doesn't flake just because like People flake on shoots all the time, so it's not unheard of to have someone like reach out to you that's pretty well known and like flake. And I've only heard good things about Sarah J. But at the same time, I didn't know if she was gonna flake or not. So then we started DMing back and forth, and she was like, I actually usually come up with like a lot of my video ideas just because like I like to I like to create content. It's fun. And I was like, yo, you know, we should do like a I your wife you know and so she was like oh i really like that idea so we started with that idea then sarah j was like let's do it on a boat <laughs> and before i went to miami keep this in mind i actually lost my girl girl virginity while i was in miami i had never done anything like that with a girl i'd never eaten a girl out i'd never done anything like that before miami and i really wanted to but i was like holy crap what did i just agree to i was like but this is sarah j I was like, Sydney, you really just want to go hard. Like, this is someone that you know you're going to be comfortable with. She has experience. Yeah, just like I was so excited. I was like, you know what? You're going to do this. Maybe get a little practice before. <laughs> I feel like I, the one thing that I could ever compare this situation to is like when you're in high school and like you're talking to a hot guy or talking to a hot girl and they're like, mm, we should hang out this weekend. And then you like text your best friends. and You're like, I don't even know how to kiss. Teach me how to kiss like that's kind of where I was at um so I really didn't know what to do and I was like F like I've never like eaten you know kitty cats before <laughs> good joke right I was like I've never done that before so I was like okay Sydney when you're in Miami like just try with someone that you feel really comfortable with and I actually ended up doing that and that's gonna be on my OnlyFans around the time this video goes up so if you guys want to see my first time and Sarah J definitely join my OnlyFans but if you're not if you don't give a just <laughs> don't join but um basically i had like an amazing first time experience and then i had like two or three days in between that and shooting with sarah j so we got there to the place and uh i was like oh my gosh we're gonna be shooting content on a boat and like hooking up on a boat with video and i really was such a newbie so i was like oh my god you know so we wait for sarah j we're waiting at like the marina um, and then we get on the boat all together and it was just like really awesome We actually saw manatee because we're in Miami one of the things that was like so awesome was she was so chill and I felt so comfortable being around her and I think that was the biggest thing for me was the fact that like I was so new and like I'm very experimental with a lot of things and For me like, you know, she's been in the industry for so long like you have to be doing something right Oh, honey, she does know how to do a lot of things right. So now we're gonna get into the shooting part. So we were like going out to the island. There's like an island in Miami and we were getting ready to shoot some content. And if you guys are really interested in this, my OnlyFans has behind the scenes and it has the full video that's gonna come out. And then it has my first time. But it was like insane because I was like, holy crap, we're actually doing this. Like I can't chicken out now. 
but I didn't want to check it out, but it was just in the back of my head. So we had uh, her videographer and photographer, and he was actually the one that I guess told Sarah J to reach out to me, which I think was super awesome. And thank you, shout out to you. I'm not gonna say your name. I don't know if you want to be on the internet, but um, he was the one that was like, oh, you should really shoot with her. So he was telling me, you know, how he found me and like what he likes about me, and like that was awesome because it really hyped me up before we're like gonna create content. So we get to the island, it's so humid, you guys. And all I could think is, oh my god, I'm sweating balls. I'm gonna have a sweaty. Ah you know, that type of situation in my head. And then it was actually great because like she just knows how content works and it was really fun and stuff. And it was honestly like very realistic to like what would happen on a boat. Like it was just awesome. So the first scene is kind of us like on top of the boat, like just making out, canoodling a little bit. And we were on top of it. Then we go down into the under part and Sarah J pulls out a strap on. And all I can think in my head is, I've never used one of those. And I'd never shot like, like full on content. You know what I mean? Like all my stuff that I post on my OnlyFans is my real life. For the most part, most of it is like not even staged or planned. It's just me like being a dumb head and I'm just like trying things I wanna try. But with that, one of the main things that was insane was the fact that of course, me being the person I am, I'm like, holy like I had to ride her I had to do things and she literally like before we even get to the strap on thing wow actually I missed a whole section but basically when we got down there we were doing like the eating and the fingering section of filming content and she like fingered the f out of me and it was like ah, you know and I'm over here like ah And I could tell she was really experienced. In that moment, that was when I was like, holy crap, I could definitely be gay for Sarah J in so many ways. <laughs> like, wipe me up with Sarah J, cause she is talented. Um, but then I know I started noticing, like I started feeling this weird sensation that I had like only felt one other time. And I realized that is the sensation of squirting. And I hadn't done it like I hadn't squirted, but like, you know, you start to feel a sensation and then it like builds up and then it happens. And I noticed the camera guy, he started backing up and she had to like ease off because I was definitely about to like ruin the entire boat. So that was really cool because like, I don't know, she just knows bodies and women and like, she's just so experienced. Like that was a really cool experience just because I feel like in my personal life, which is kind of what I post. I don't really get to experience those things and I never knew how to, I can't do that for myself, I guess. So it was really crazy having her be able to just like do that with just her fingers, like magical hands, you know? So then what ended up happening was we went from that to that to that and then she pulled out the strap on, we filmed that and then it was so nice because like, like I just felt so comfortable with her and trying things and I would say anyone who is approached by Sarah J definitely work with her. Her content is amazing, professional, but still very personal. Like you can tell she doesn't work with people unless she genuinely wants to work with them. And um, she's such a sweet person. Like she's not someone that's there just for money, but she's also there to create awesome, dope, real like content. And I feel like our video was so like authentic because I was trying so many things for the first time. Like honestly, we could have just called it S Fits It's First Time Getting F***ed With A Strap On featuring Sarah J. Or Sarah J F Fits It With A Strap On. But honestly, it, the video itself could have been, you know, so simple because it was so many things that I had experienced for the first time, but it was awesome shooting content with her because she just has this amazing vibe that makes you feel comfortable. And I can tell you right now, like I would love to shoot content with her again or hang out with her in general and like, yeah, the whole experience was just absolutely amazing, but it was awesome, you guys. And if anyone wants to see it, you can. But one of the biggest things I wanna say is the fact that like working with her was just out of this world. Like she just really has something that, it, there's a reason why she's been in this industry for so long and I'm very happy to have met her and have that experience and um, I definitely would not have been able to do that without all the love and support that I have from you guys. So I just wanted to 
let you guys know about my experience but I love you guys so much. I hope that you sweethearts are having an amazing day. If you want to be a sinner, you can. You can join the exclusive side. But with that being said, I love you. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I hope that you liked this story time experience video about Sarah J and I. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, babes.